I'm uh, I'm actually in a car park. We've got a <laughs> we've got the car lights on, but they're not terribly effective at lighting me very well. Anyway, I wanted to show you. I bought some fabric for making my um. That's slightly better. Well, there we go. I bought some fabric for making window covers. Uh, this stuff here. It is quilted, which is what I wanted so that it's a little bit um, stiffer and will hold its own shape. Um, this is only for privacy for the car. It's not for keeping sun out. It is for just to stop people from seeing in and to block light from coming in the car. So... Uh, when we went car camping for the first time the other night, there was a storm. It was a spectacular storm. And uh, the sky was really bright for ages. And um, I didn't sleep well anyway, but with the lightning and everything, um, which was amazing. Uh, if I had been able to sleep, <laughs> it would have disturbed me a bit. Um, so yeah, I've got this now and I'm gonna cut this to shape to fit on the uh, snap shades. Um, I'm gonna fold the edge over. I'm not sure I should really bother telling you here. Probably not interested. Some people might be. I'm gonna fold the edge over. The black will be on the outside. Uh, I will put that there um, for the, um, uh, for the, for the seam. But what I'm gonna do over the top of this edge is, I've got this um, black ribbon. I considered bias binding, which would go around curves better, but the bias binding is quite thin and it's um, it's only poly cotton. That black ribbon will follow the edge along there and that will serve as um, binding up the raw edge plus holding the little magnets. And so the little magnets will go in here and be stitched in place. So with bias binding that is often only thin poly cotton, I had a concern that with the magnets constantly having that pressure on, off, on, off, on, off, they might, it might wear through the bias binding really quickly because um, that's not what bias binding is designed to do. It's, um, it's meant to, well, there's all sorts of reasons to use binding, but anyway, it's not strong enough for that job. So you can see sort of that, wow, I really suck at going the mirror thing. So up and then around, oh my goodness. You get what I mean? It goes around the edge of the window. <laughs> and um, it was a fair bit that I was gonna need. So with three of these at over six meters each, that should be plenty. Oh, and I got these too, because if you go to Spotlight, you gotta get the uh, mint leaves. Yum, I've eaten most of the packet already because they're delicious. <laughs> So, yes, I think this should work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, also, there's the back window, of course. So I've got like the four four windows plus the back hatch window. And oh, if you can hear the car engine, it's just because I've got the aircon on because it's stupid hot today. I'm not going to sit in this car park without the air conditioning on. Oh, well, I would have preferred that it didn't have white lines. Oh, which reminds me, I forgot to get the permanent pen. Um, I would have preferred that this wasn't stitched in white because I want it to just be like black and people can't see in. Um, but what I'm probably going to do, well, I mean, the option was to dye it or to, um, just color them in with black Nico pen, like permanent pen. So I think I'll try that first, coloring it in with permanent pen because, um, even though it'll take a long time, it's way less messy than uh, trying to dye that. Also, this is quite synthetic on the inside. And while this thread might be cotton and take up the dye, the rest of this won't. And it'll look all patchy and weird and then so much water wasted with rinsing it and blah, 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 blah. So I think it's just going to be easier to sit there and colour in the white bits with a black permanent pen. After going to two different shops where I thought about getting um, a permanent black marker 
I came home and completely forgot about it. So I had to go to the shops again to get a permanent black marker. So I'm ready here with these and I've got my fabric um, that I showed you before. And I'm going to mark them with, uh, well, I'm gonna mark what shape I need to cut out first with um, using the uh, snap shades as a template, of course, because they need to be exactly that shape. What I need to do is um, I need to mark these in a way so that I've got a little bit of seam allowance so that I can fold the side down um, fold the, the edges down and um, obviously then there's no raw edge in that raw edges on the inside will be covered with that ribbon that I showed you before I need a bit of extra seam allowance because the plan is uh, for these to be a little bit wider than the shades and then they'll fill up any little gaps like um, the corner of the window of course like here dark there there we go so the corner of the window itself is not curved exactly like that is so there is a little bit of a gap around here and so that you can actually fit the snap shades in easily there is a little bit of a gap all the way around each one so if i make this slightly larger then this fabric can cover that gap um i'm not i mean it, it's it's not enough of a gap for people to see in unless they were like really keen and that would be super creepy um but <clears throat> it's enough of a gap for light to come in if um if we're parked somewhere where there's lights and me being a light sleeper that will possibly annoy me so yeah i mean look i've got these if they're going to be designed to block out the light they may as well block out all the light right these two that i'm starting there with um they are for the back windows which is the most not urgent but the ones i want to get done first because obviously that's where we're sleeping in the back all right, let's go. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna cut this out first and then as to make some allowance. Now I'm using these uh, painting shears. <laughs> And if you can see here, they've got that little um, edge on them that is like um, a zigzag. Um, I've decided to use these to cut them out rather than have a very straight edge because uh, it will make it easier to fold in the little bits, the, the corners that are curved. Because I need to have it curved and when an edge isn't straight like that, that'll make it a lot easier. Um, There'll be less bulk. Okay, time to cut one out. The only annoying thing about these is they're quite stiff, so um, your hands end up getting a bit sore before you finish cutting out. thinking because I was going to fold this towards the inside and put the magnets, use the ribbon along the edge here to hold the magnets and now I realise of course that that means the magnets won't be directly against this, they'll be on this side of it instead of this side of it. Ah, so annoying. I totally didn't think about which way this was going to fold. 
and I can't fold it to the outside because then there'll be big ugly white bits which will make it obvious that they are covers and not just heavily tinted windows or just a car that you can't see in. The other option is I could just not hem it at all and then just sew this on. The other advantage of using those pinking shears to get the zigzag edge is that um, it helps to stop fraying. I think that's what I might do, just leave the raw edges. Mm. I hate it when something turns out to be more complicated than, than and a bigger job than you think it will. It's annoying. And I'm tired too, so that doesn't help. I can stitch the ribbon on first, place the magnets, make sure it fits, and then I can trim this to exactly the right width that I need. So yeah, that's that's not a bad thing. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. It's a plan. I've been um, coloring in these uh, covers that I made. I, um, I think I said I was colouring it in, didn't I? I can't remember what I actually said now. Uh, yeah, colouring in the white. I'll show you here. Have a look. So here's the bits that I've coloured in. And there's the one that is already done. So I'm testing this one window cover. That works really well. The only thing I don't like is that my magnets wouldn't fit. So I've had to use these, use these other magnets that I already had. I'd prefer, so you can see them there, I'd prefer that um, I had the magnets sewn in so that when I take them off I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put the magnets. Um, but this is what I just have to do for now. And on this side you can't see anything of course, except the poo on my window. There we go, check that out. It's awesome. If I want a bit of air in the top, I can just lower these. Oops, sticking, no. And oh, I'll figure out, I'll fold those down and put the magnet over the top maybe. So I can open the window a bit, have a little bit of air for if I need it. Um, I have finished one of the window covers. It's turned out pretty well. It's just behind the camera here, so that's what I'm looking at. Uh, let me show you. This is from the inside. Um, as you can see here, so I've stitched little magnets. Finally got the right size, so I managed to get some of the hardware store into here. And they actually attach to the window frame. They don't attach to the, um, what do you call it? The, the snap shades frame they can but it actually fits better if it's on the window frame and what else I haven't stitched in the top ones yet I've just positioned those and I'm gonna stitch those in shortly um, so yeah I've got them pinned in place ready to go um, yeah and it because it sort of goes just past the edge here sorry if I made you dizzy then it covers everything um, so there's no there's no little gaps and this is what it looks like from the outside. Cannot see a thing. Um, now, when there is light coming from the inside, I don't have a torch or anything to show you. The little holes in the quilting, so where the stitching is, light actually does bleed through those tiny little holes. So I may or may not cover these with some um, an extra layer of fabric on the inside. It would look prettier if I did. Not that it really matters what it looks like. I'll figure it out. Anyway, I think this will do us for uh, for this one camping trip coming up and uh, it'll keep out the light and we're, we're gonna be staying at um, um, campgrounds and um, someone's private property anyway. So we, it's not like we're stealth camping and we need to, um, you know, like completely hide as it is, I've only got like the two back windows anyway, so uh, it's not like we can completely hide, even if um, even if we wanted to. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's going to be good. I still have the second one to make for the other window, 
Um, and But now that I've got this one, it's an exact mirror image, so I don't need to bring it in and out and check and see where I've got to put the magnets and stuff now for the second one. Um, so that makes it a bit easier. Um, well, that's it. I think, I think that's probably the end of this video, really. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope this was interesting. You can give it a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe, please. That would be awesome. And hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Looks a bit dodged from the inside. Well, kind of ugly, but yeah, magnets. That one's there to there and there. There, there and there. And then, can't see inside. That's... <laughs>